good Sunday morning, guys. Day eight. We are on day eight. And yes, gosh. And my dog sees something outside. She's been low growling for like five minutes. There's nothing there. Seems I have a headband for all my t-shirts. <laughs> okay, so I ended up syncing up my phone with the new Keto Mojo. We'll see if it actually works. Uh, there's a solution that you can use to test to see it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and see if it's going to work for me. So let's jump right into that. Here's the new Keto Mojo. And I am going to put the glucose strip in. So let's see if we can get this going here. All right. Pricky, pricky time. Pricky, pricky time. Oh. Oosh. All right. Let's see. Hopefully I won't have too much of a glare. Now, I'll, uh. Be quiet. Okay, this is going to be my glucose, you guys. <laughs> 45? Uh, hmm. I don't know about that. All right, let's try ketones. 45. Hey, can you be quiet, please? All right, let's try my ketones. All right, get in there. Get. Why is that not sucking it up? All right. Glucose 45. I highly doubt it. 2.4. That's probably right. 2.4. All right. I may have to do, may have to do my glucose again. Forty-five. I I don't feel like my glucose is forty-five or blood sugar is forty-five. Shouldn't I be like, <laughs> if my glucose is forty-five? I don't know. We'll test later. All right. Once I get off my phone here, I'll see if it actually registered to see if I'm in. I'm I'm confident <laughs> with the glucose of forty-five. I'm a ketosis. So. Okay, going to try to get out today and do this camper, clear this camper out. It's cold. It's like 29 outside right now. Listen, you're going to stop that growling. Can y'all hear her? Hey, there's nothing out there. There's nothing out there. Oh, this one. You're going to have to get down. You're being very big, you. Anyway. Okay. Took my weight this morning, actually. Okay. So, I didn't I didn't do my glucose and blood sugar yesterday. So, <laughs> apparently, my blood sugar is 45. Ketones was 2.4. And my weight this morning, you guys. I don't remember. I know I'm down, but I don't remember how much. I'll write it down. It was seven one seventy two point four. I think I'm not sure, but yeah, um, that's what's gonna start my day today, y'all. Y'all, I'm not even southern. I'm a Yankee. Hey, cut it out. What do you see? I don't see anything out there. <clears throat> okay. Let me get my other one. So, I didn't write anything down, you guys, yesterday. 5 p.m. yesterday would have put me at 168 hours? 168. 5 p.m. today will put me at 192, I believe. Hmm. I'll do the calculations later, but other than that, I am feeling pretty good this morning. I 
slept pretty good. <laughs> Again, I didn't take my screenshot. The husband and I have been sitting here having a conversation, and I keep telling him, I got to do my video. I got to start my video. Got to start my video. <laughs> and it is, it's 930. So we've been talking for a while. So he, he finally went into the garage, and here I am. <laughs> been up for a little while. And... That's it. I'll come in a bit, little bit later. I don't know if I'm going to make him some lunch today or he'll just end up getting a sandwich or he has a, a can of Chef Boyardee beefaroni in there if he's going to eat that. I just don't know. And I, and I will likely do some leftovers. The other night when I said he'll have leftovers, he never did. He ended up stopping at Popeye's. Hopefully no triggers. At three, I think. I think he totally skipped lunch. He either stopped at Popeye's around three or four on his way home. And that's what he had for dinner. And he had something light the later uh, later on that night. So the leftovers I have in there are still in there. So that's what I will make him for dinner tonight. But let me tell you that Byron's butt rub barbecue seasoning. Ooh, I can't wait to use that on some ribs smelled so good all right guys i will wrap it up right now i will come back in in a little bit later maybe i'll take you in the camper with me and we can talk while i'm in there and I, while i'm gathering things up and i will see you then guys yeah 45 blood sugar i don't know i'll check in a little bit no i just realized how much crap i have in this camper I got a lot of crap in here. So, I don't know if I want to, I think I might start in my pantry. I got so much stuff in this pantry. I would love, and I apologize for the lighting. Maybe I'll move you guys on this end. So much stuff in this pantry. But, this may end up being a two day job. As you can tell, I'm I'm freezing right now. I've got my husband's flannel shirt on, gloves. It's cold. I may even go put on a beanie. Don't even know yet. Yeah, this may end up being a two-day job. This may end up being a two-day job. Oy vey. I use these big boxes I get from Costco. They do come in handy when I'm toting stuff. Even if we come on a trip, I bring these boxes to carry stuff in. Oi, 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 oi. So much stuff. So much stuff. gonna take a while Whoa. this is gonna take a long time yeah. I'm glad I kept a lot of this stuff in these baskets I honestly didn't realize how much stuff I had in this camper. This is the thing I keep my coffee pot in. I just pull it in and out. The new camper should have much more space. Here's my other basket I had. Kept all my bowls and other things in this. And I think that I got one more thing way back there. And I'm not going to be able to reach it. I'm going to have to get the hubby to get it. Um, bathroom. I got this that we used in our skylights. I can use that. Or in the fans rather to keep the cool air out. 
I think I've already got everything under the sink. Got some few little things. Some boxes of tissue. In my other pantry, got a roll of paper towels, all my tension rods, and my trash can is in there. Okay, guys, I'm gonna tote this stuff inside. Oh, this might take a couple days. Can I just say WTF, guys? Holy scamoles. Oh, we got all the pillows up here. Holy scamoles, y'all. And inside those ottomans is stuff. Is that table, my broom. A couple of things here on the table. Holy cow. And I still probably got, oh, 25% of stuff left in there. There's one. Oh, my gosh. There's still one sleeping bag in there that I can't get to because the slide is closed. So I'm going to have to try to finagle it out of there. The camper did warm up because it is sitting in the sun. So I came out of the uh, flannel. <sighs> Yo, for such a small camper, that's a lot of stuff. And I had pulled out stuff before we closed it up. I just left stuff in there that I knew would be fine in there. Holy cow. I started to feel my blood pressure drop. So I came in and took a big old swig of pickle juice. Sat down for about 10 minutes and um, I could feel, you know, how you start to get the, the closing in when your blood pressure starts to drop. So I came in, took some pickle juice, sat down for, oh, 10 minutes maybe. And I could feel, I could feel it coming back up. So yeah a few more things and then we'll be done plus i have our seats our like camp chairs our outdoor mat that we put out in front of it if there's like gravel put a mat down there's the big foam mattress that we use in there i'm not going to try to carry that in by myself i'll wait till the husband gets home what else oh our grilling stuff is still in there in the outdoor compartment i don't want to flip the couch up i can get to it that way but i just don't feel like messing with the couch i'd rather open up the outside compartment and pull everything out that way what else is in there oh my trash can i gotta get i will likely get the rest of that stuff later on today so it won't be a two-day job but anyway oh, i may i may do another blood sugar and uh, ketone reading for you guys i'm i'm not sure but yeah, the weight was 172.4, so I was down 0 0.6. And um, that's going to do it for right now. It is 1 o'clock. And I'll come in when I close out the video, guys. All right, I'll see you soon. I wanted to come in right now and close out the video because the husband and I are getting ready to finish uh clearing the camper there's more stuff in there we need to get there's some things on the outside that he needs to take off like a leveling thing oh there's some more things he's on his way in so hold on okay he needs me real quick i will see you guys in the morning for day nine and yeah we got a lot of stuff to do so this is why i'm closing out early it's a little bit after five right now but all right guys i will see you in the morning for day two if you like my videos give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers for following along. And I will see you in the morning. Day 8. Almost over.